what up fellas y'all yeah, been asking when i'm gonna get the custom suit back and it finally came in and as you can see it fits perfect i absolutely love it this is my first three-piece suit in a long time i had to get rid of my other one but yeah man it fits pretty damn good i'm very very happy with the end result of this custom made suit absolutely love it it's not too tight not too loose it's truly custom like it fits my particular body type there's no one else in the world that can wear this suit and have it, and have it fit exactly like how this does so let's go through each of the pieces individually and um let's go into more detail all right first up we have the coat it's double breasted as you can see and what i want to point out with the coat is the canvas now, custom suits usually come in a half canvas or a full canvas. A canvas is a horsehair lining that is sewn in between the fabric and the lining of the, of the jacket that allows the jacket to naturally drape on your body. A full canvas is throughout the full length of the coat, which is better, but that one's more expensive. This one that I have has a half canvas and that goes from the shoulders to the mid section, therefore allowing the coat to rest properly on my chest with no gaping. If you're a fit guy, you know, that's the issue we have with suit jackets and sport coats. The, the, the chest area starts to gape open. You don't have that issue with a half canvas or a full canvas custom suit. All right, next up is the waistcoat. I went with a shawl lapel, single breasted. Um, not too many alterations were done on this, but man, check out the lining. How dope is that lining? When I saw that, I knew I had to get that to go with the suit. And that's the same lining that's on the inside of my, my um, jacket as well. But yeah, I love the lining and that's the adjustable string in the back. So if you want it a little bit tighter, um, you can adjust the back. So I love it. All right, here we go with the pants. How do the pants fit? Well, they fit pretty good. Um, I can feel a lot of room in the thigh area, so I appreciate that. Another area that I was concerned with was the seat. The seat feels good, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable when I sit down. It's, it's, not, it's not too tight. And pretty much when I'm doing anything, whether it's sitting down, walking, or standing, it just feels comfortable. Yeah, there's no stretch that goes with it, but I don't need any stretch that goes with my dress pants. Um, I love the pants, uh, again, the thigh feels great, the, sit, the seat feels great, and from what you can see in this particular clip, the legs were slightly tapered as well, but you will see that a lot better in the next clip. All right, so here's a better angle of how tapered the legs are. Also finished up with a cuff. I thought that looks better on a three-piece double-breasted suit. And um, ox blood and dark brown shoes are great options for navy blue. And I also ended up with a slight break. Additional fancy stuff, the, the color stitching on the workable sleeves is the same as the lapel stitch. And if you flip op over the, the collar, it is the same color as well. So that's pretty cool. The back looks great. It's not pulling, you know, on my broad shoulders. And of course, I cannot get over this lining. It's just too dope. All right, y'all. So those are the three pieces that came with the custom th th three-piece suit. And I like it, you know, I, I would give it a, let's see, huh, I would give it a, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because there were two drawbacks that I was a little bit disappointed in. The first being, alright, so I wanted a three-piece navy blue pinstripe suit, shawl lapel, double-breasted waistcoat, and a single-breasted coat. But apparently that line doesn't do shawl lapel double breasted waistcoat, which I find a little odd because if I'm doing custom, I should be able to do what I want, right? And it's also shocking because 
Joseph Abood is one of the top menswear designers, manufacturers, stylists, and for him not to have that option in that custom line so it was a little odd, but it is what it is. So what I did was I flipped it. I went with a, a double-breasted coat and a single-breasted shawl vest. Second drawback is the lapel size. Now, for guys like me who have a broad chest, broad, broad back, you know, you've been bench pressing your, your way, you know, and, and you've been maxing out your, 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 your bench press, ideally you want a lapel that is slightly bigger than your average ones. Um, it's all about balance and proportion. Just by looking at that particular lapel, it looked like it was about a 2.75 inch lapel. For guys like me, you wanna go with like a 3.5, at least that. I mean, I've seen some some wide lapels that are, that are like exaggerated, like wide, wide lapels. I wouldn't go too wide, but just wide enough so that it will proportionally fit my body type and my frame. So like I said, it's all about balance and proportion. Um, for a much thinner guy, skinny guy, those thinner uh, l l l l lapel size work perfect for them. So think of your your um, your ectomorph, that kind of guy. So those thin lapels work perfect for an ectomorph. But for a mesomorph <laughs> and an endomorph out there, you want to go with the wider lapels. So those two drawbacks fall under the custom category. Again, if, it's, if I'm going custom, I should be able to do what I want. But anyway, those two weren't really necessarily deal breakers. I still got the suit. And believe me, I'm gonna wear the hell out of it. This is the first shawl lapel anything that I have, so I'm excited about that. And um, what else? This, 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 this is a, it's more of an affordable option. So if you don't wanna spend a thousand or a thousand plus dollars on a custom suit, but you don't want to get some cheap stuff off the rack either. This is a nice in-between, middle-of-the-road, affordable option. So if you just want to go with a two-piece, you're looking at, what, $3.95. I went with a three-piece, so I paid a little bit more. It's like 500 bucks. So it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, something that you can save up, but I understand for some people, 500 might be even a little too much. So anyway... Give these guys a shot. Um, go, go to your local menswear men's warehouse store, and they, they 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 have this option available for you. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And who knows, I might mix into like a series of custom suits. Like, who has the best fit in custom suits? And the process was great. Um, turnaround time was about six weeks. So, yeah, I like it. I I'll be going back for more, maybe not a suit, but like a sport, a sport coat or, or so, right? Um, oh, giveaway is still going on. I already got some, some packages that I'm gonna send out today, actually. Yes, today I'm gonna send some packages out and there's, some, there's still some, some stuff left. So hit up the email, let me know which ones you want, or at least I'll tell you which ones are still available and don't let your location stop you. I got people from, what, Sweden, uh, uh, Denmark, uh, Australia, and of course the, the United States as well. So partake in this giveaway. I'm giving away all my stuff, no cost to you. I'm taking care of all the costs. And it's, again, it's my way of saying thank you for sticking with me and helping me cross over the thousand subscriber mark. So, I am done. <laughs> I will see you next week. And until then, stay fly and stay fit.